prophetic connection to the month of June. It is the month of highly and uncommon favor of God. It is a month with prophetic words. It is the month of highly and uncommon favor of God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Father. I am going to give you the prophecy. Already some of you, you have got them. But I want to share them to everyone that who, who, did, who did not get it. This month of June, it is the month of highly and uncommon favor of God. It is your month of refreshing. This month, you will enjoy full ministry and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit, the Spirit will anoint, empower, and energize you. By the Holy Spirit, you will be a blessing wherever you go. You will be a vessel of blessing, comfort, and, and a consolation to other people. The Spirit of the Lord promotes and ex exalt you this month. This month, you will register a landmark achievement. The omnibus and land of, hand of God shall rest upon you for exploit, 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 exploit this month. You will not walk in darkness. You will light shall sign. Your light shall sign for the world to see. Peace be upon you in Jesus' mighty name. Salam. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. You are prophetic and we shall walk according to your, the Holy Spirit that will lead us, will guide us, and will protect us in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we bless your name and we thank you. We give you all the glory, God. You are wonderful, wonderful God and mighty God in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Father, I want to thank you once again in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. I am going to talk to you the subject called prophetic connection to the month of June. It is a divine connection. And I'm going to read from the book of John 3, verse 5 and 8. The Bible says, Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I said it to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That is, that is born of flesh, is fresh and that which is born of, of the spirit is, is spirit. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. The wind blows where it go wishes and you heard it sound, but you do not know where it comes from. Or do you not know where it comes from or where it goes? So it is with everyone who is born of God, who is born of the spirit. So here, is the man who went to Jesus. You know the man is called Nicodemus. Who went to Jesus to find out what is it. Yes, the, Jesus told him the truth. He said, the truly, truly, I said it to you. Unless one is born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. So you cannot enter. You cannot enter. And the, the Bible says you cannot even see. So there is something called the Holy Spirit. Once you are born of the Holy Spirit and the water, there is nothing you cannot do. Because this is the, the Spirit of God that came to Mary and, and told him that, Mary, you are going to conceive. Mary I did not know the man, but the Spirit of God make him, make him pregnant. So the Spirit of God, that, 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 that which is born of flesh, is blessed and that which is born of the spirit is the spirit will fall upon you so that you will give birth to the spirit not the flesh your flesh shall not give any any, any 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 fruit but the spirit of god will give you the flesh the, the spirit of god will give you the the, the 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 will give you the spirit and you will give birth to the spirit that is the different you've been giving birth to flesh now is your time to give back to the, the, the spirit. Because once, once it's born of the spirit in the spirit, but always born in the flesh is fresh. Therefore, the spirit of God will ascend into your life and give back to spirit. And everything you touch, it is Holy Ghost. Anything you go, it is Holy Ghost. Where you go to any city, it's Holy Ghost following you. Because you born inside you. It is inside you. In the name of Jesus. 
God, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. Yes, God, we give all the glory. In Nehemiah 20, ne, ne, in the book of Nehemiah, the book of ne, Nehemiah 9, verse 20, the Bible says, You give your good spirit to instruct them, and they did not withhold your manner from their mouth, and they gave them water for their thirst. Forty years you stand them in the wilderness and they lack nothing. Their clothes did not wear out and their feet did not swell. So the Spirit of God gave instruction, good instruction, and it did not hold even the manna from their mouth. So the Spirit of God uh, instructed them. They did not, it did not hold even the manna from their mouth. They walked in the wilderness for wilderness for 40 years. Not even their shoes, not even their clothes were torn, not even their, their feet were swollen, and they were not sick. They, were, they didn't have a midwife. The women were giving part no more. Everything was going on well because of the Spirit of God that were in them. So when the Spirit of God is upon you, you can move, you can pass, you can go, and the sickness will not locate you in the name of Jesus. You see, that's why we need the Spirit. That's why we need to celebrate and pray in the tongues than before we need to seek the Holy Spirit to renew our mind, to renew us, our body once again. Look at that. When I was reading this scripture, I said, yes. The Bible says, you gave your good spirit to instruct them, and they did not with all your manner from their mouth, and gave them, and gave them water for their thirst. Forty years, you stand them in the wilderness, and they lack nothing. Their clothes did not wear out, and their feet did not even swell. So the Lord Almighty, when he gives the Holy Spirit, when the spirit, the spirit of God will come and, and give birth and, and stay in your body, in your life, it will guide you, it will lead you, it will never, you will never walk in darkness because the spirit of God will not allow you. Many times I can replace something. I don't know where I put something. I look, I look, I look, I look for something for a long time. Then I, I realize... Oh, the Spirit of God, you know where I put that thing. Show me, show me. The Spirit of God will spot me and will tell me, go there, that corner, exactly where, I, where, the, where the Spirit of God will tell me that's where I go and I get it. I know my sister, Dr. Juma, her son lost a key. If she's here, she will say amen. And, and, and she, was, was, she was going out, uh, outside the country. She was, he was going to Europe. His son was going to, do, her son was going to Europe. Now, what happened the day before he could, he could fly, he could drive, he, he loses his key and he has to hand off the key where he was, he, where he was working. And if you lose the key, you are supposed to pay $10,000. Now the enemy hide the keys and it was like panicking. Then the woman of God realized that I'm here and she can call me to help for help. It was something small, but it was big. If, she, if he lost the key, then it could have been very bad to him. So eventually, I told him that go, 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 go to work. Come back, you will find the key. The key is not lost, it's in your house. When you come back, you will find the key. And that is what happened. When he came back in the, in the evening from work, he found the key. So the Holy Spirit will instruct you and show you everything you want to know. And the, the Holy Spirit, as it is, as the Bible says, the Holy Spirit, did, what, what, the good spirit that God gave to the children of Israel, this old good spirit instructed them, and they did not withhold uh, uh, the manna from their mouth. They gave them water for their thirst, and forty years you stand them in the wilderness, and they lack nothing. The Spirit of God, when is you? You will never lack nothing. You will never dry. Every time you are filled, every time you feel afresh, you will ne not even be tired because of this Holy Spirit. That's why we need to really to praise God and thank God and ask Him more of the Spirit of God. 
It is going to lead us and, and empower us in the name of Jesus. We will be praying. If you want to fast and pray, you are welcome to do the so. Because this is the time we really need to pray deep. And we need to be baptized by the Holy Spirit afresh. You need to live in, you need to, you need to, you will need to ask Jesus. You need to ask him more of the Holy Spirit. You need to speak in tongue even two hours without getting tired. You need to pray that, to speak in tongue. If you have not been able to speak in tongue, this is the time that you can continue speaking, continue speaking. And then the Holy Spirit will empower you to speak, to pray two hours, one hour without stopping. The wife of Kennedy Covenant, Glory Covenant, she always pray one hour non-stop. That is her, her lifestyle. She wakes up, she thank God, she read her Bible. After that, she continue praying one hour non-stop. When you pray the the, in the tongue, you will renew your spirit and you will feel it fresh. Something is changing in your body. So it is very important, children of God, to run out to speak in tongues and pray in the spirit. Don't worry about the language because what you are praying, you are cursing the demons, you are dismantling them, the Lord is speaking to you back, it is a war. So you are praying the, the tongue, you don't have to worry about it to reach the to noise, but if you can be sensitive, very sensitive, you can hear what you are praying. But if you don't know what you are praying, pray. That is, you are, you are, the words you are saying, it is the word to destroy the work of the devil, the word to press your, you, the word to build your spirit, and then you feel you are, you are different person. Therefore, this is the time you need to set time to pray. We, we are going to pray to take over the gates of the enemy, to take over the powers of darkness, to take every power that is standing against you. You know the Bible says the Lord will raise up a standard against the enemy. When the enemy comes like floods, the Lord will raise up a standard of the Holy Spirit and he will fight your enemy. And, and wherever it is, anything that is work, working against you, let us use the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit heals. The Holy Spirit fight for you. I've seen the Holy Spirit healing thousands and thousands of people. If you know the man called Renard Bonge, Renard Bonge uses the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit moved upon thousands and thousands. So if, if, you, if, the, if this human being can be doing the same thing, and this spirit is also the same thing that we can use, the Spirit of God will break things that are untouchable. The Spirit of God will go into the bone, into the marrow, and destroy any sickness in your body. Jesus is a healer. When he, when he releases the Spirit of God, when the Spirit of God releases in you, things will never be the same again. Even their language will change. I was a stammerer, the, the person who was not able to speak the word of God. I could not be able to pronounce words properly. But through the Spirit of God has enabled me. I know the Spirit of God is, has been helping me so much. I, am the, I, I was the person who could take some few minutes to say the word. But thank God I, I am able now. I can talk now until I tell myself stop without struggling. Press be the name of Jesus. Rest pray. If you can pray, pray. If you cannot speak in the tongue, run out to speak in the tongue. Just speak. Meditate. It, you will get it. Like a baby, a baby is always speaking the word following. A baby will start uh, meditate the word and then uh, tomorrow the, the baby can be able to, to pronounce the word properly. You can also meditate. That's how it is. You can repeat as the people saying. You can go there and you listen, you re meditate, and then tomorrow you will be able to speak yours. And then you continue like that. You, you will feel the power of God strike you. You will feel the power of Holy Ghost, the fire will fall upon you. Then you go, you completely get lost. You find your mind is gone. You continue speaking. Then God will open your eyes and you will start seeing vision in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God will open your eyes and ears. I will open that God will fill you with the Holy Spirit. That you will be able to pray without getting tired, without drowness. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
my God and my Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that God empower your people. Let the Spirit of God to empower your people in the name of Jesus. People who need the empowerment of the Holy Spirit, like what you did to Peter. The Peter, after Peter were filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, they were able to preach. Peter preached the 3,000 people got saved. The second time, 2,000 got saved. The same power that he received through the Holy Spirit, it will come and empower you. Your people have not been saved. You can release them. You can release your, the, the, the people who have been captured. You can arrest the, the, the kidnappers that are capturing people in the darkness by the power of the, the Holy Spirit. Remember that the power of the Holy Spirit which made Mary to become pregnant. It is the same power of the Holy Spirit that will make you to use you to go and rescue your family. To go and 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 and, and reach out to those to those lost souls in the name of Jesus, because if the Holy Spirit will instruct you, will show you go there, do this, do this. The Holy Spirit is a teacher. The Holy Spirit is the one who went to uh, went to, to to who was filled by by Moses. The Holy Spirit was filled by David. The Holy Spirit is the one who was working with David. He could not do without the Holy Spirit. But those days were only prophets and kings. Few individuals were getting the Holy Spirit. But now everybody, the Holy Spirit has come and everybody must get as a child of God. It is free, it's a promise for us and our children. So get, let us get this Holy Spirit and work on them in the name of Jesus. Remember, remember that God, remember that God, God has given us this free. So we have to get it. In Psalms 104, verse 30, the Bible says, When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you, and, and you renew the face of the ground. You see, the Bible says, Psalms 104, verse 30, When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the ground. So the Holy Spirit is created, it, it creates. When God was creating the, 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 the world, they said he breathed to the water. He just breathed to the water. And the water started coming from everywhere. This, if you look at the book of uh, Psalms, 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 1, 1, 1, 1, Psalms 18, you will see how God moved. And God, our God is able to create new ground. To create, to create in you as, uh, even uh, even new body, God is able to repair you. Yes, God is able to repair you. God, God is able to to send the the, the, the to send. Yes, Lord. I mute, I mute your phone. God, God is able to renew, to renew you, to to take you to to the, the Saturn and repair you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. We pray that God, you are able God. We pray that God, you are a mighty God. We pray that God, you are a God that who does not change that God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father. Lord, we love you and we give you all the glory. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. My God, my Father, I want to thank you, Father. Let's pray. Let's pray if you can pray the thank prayer. Yes, Lord, we thank you, my God. We pray that this month of June is a month that we need you, Lord. We need the spirit that you sent. We need the spirit that you sent to give Mary, to make Mary pregnant. Lord, my Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. Father, we honor you, Jesus. We glorify your name, God. We love you, Jesus. Rapa papa shatara raba kuriya, rampa papa shitoro raba kuriya, rampa papa shatoro raba kuriya, rampa karaba papa shatoro raba kuriya, retero raba kuriya mbaba bashanto. Yes, Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Father. Lord, we honor you, my God. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, my God, my Father. We honor you, Lord. You are a wonder of God. We call upon your presence. We call upon the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit move. 
the whole speed move, 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 move to every area in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Jesus, we honor you. Jesus, we glorify your name. We lift your name up in the name of Jesus Christ. My God and my Father, I thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. I want to thank you. I want to thank everyone. Thank you for joining. God bless you so much. We are on. We will be on tomorrow, 8 o'clock. Tomorrow, Thursday, we will be on 8 o'clock. Join us. We, we will be keeping praying. Just continue praying in tongue. Continue praying. Don't stop to pray after this periscope. If you can spend a quiet time, a few minutes, few to continue praying in tongue, ask God. If you don't know how to pray the tongue, just meditate. Repeat as other people are praying. Just say, continue like that. You will find that you will start meditating, then you will start getting it, and the Holy Spirit will fall upon you. Just copy it. It will come. Don't worry about it. Don't be shy. Copy it and shout. You will find it. You are filled, and, and then you will raise up your hands, and, and you feel the power of God will fill upon you. Go to our website, www dot overcomers dh ministry dot blogspot dot ca there are materials there there are videos out there you can help yourself call us our number is six four seven six zero eight five two zero seven also you can reach us our number landline number nine zero five four eight seven seven one nine six God bless you God bless you so much see you tomorrow eight o'clock we are on we are on, we are praying now. We are going to pray uh, so many hours. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you so much. God bless you. Have a wonderful time. See you tomorrow. And if you need, if you need the prophetic words, it is there. You can go to, to view the video I put there. And if you didn't get in the cell phone, I, you didn't, you didn't take, get a text message from me or email, you get me your email, I will send you this prophetic so you can meditate upon. It's very powerful. Or if you can write them, you write them, it is in the video. Or on Facebook. You can go to Facebook, I post it there. You can get it and help yourself. Thank you, Felman. God bless you. Bye. Bye-bye.